So hello everybody, it is Friday, it's time for another DAX Fridays. Are you ready? Today's video is going to be interesting, I think. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go through two new functions. We're going to go through week number and we're going to go through the function value. But we're going to do it in a business scenario. So I'm going to show you. We are here on Power BI and this is the North Wind data set that we always use. But this time, what I've done is I added years. So it is a current calendar. So this is not from 1996. This is 2017, 18, 19. Because I think this scenario is most common with current calendars. And the solution is different if you don't have one. Okay. So I want to cover the most typical cases, obviously. So it helps you. So we have here a dashboard that it has an overview of the North Wind business. And uh, nowadays, business, uh, you know, they follow up every month, sometimes every week. And in this case, we have weekly meetings where we go through, okay, how did we do previous week? And the challenge is here. We want to have the exact same dashboard as here, but just for previous week. And you might say, hey, that is quite easy, right? Uh, okay, let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this, duplicate the page. I'm going to call it something last week. And you might say, hey, we can put a date on the page level filter, the date, and then we can go to relative filtering, right? And we say here the last one week, apply filter. And then as you can see here, it's giving us days from the 8th to the 14th. 8th to the 14th. So it's the last seven days. That's not what we want. We want to have previous week. So you say, hey, there is a calendar week there. Okay. So we go here and it says 3rd to the 9th the third to the ninth. So it is taking Sundays, which is what it did in Power Query when I created the weeks. I had to add um, the text to say the week starts on Monday, not on Sunday. And there might be a way to fix this. I don't know it. If you know, let me know. So this doesn't work because our weeks, they start on um uh, on uh, Monday. So this is going to give us a wrong data. And um, week six, yeah, exactly. So this has given us the previous week. If we throw here, instead of week, we put date, we will see what's going on. Oh, that hierarchy that appears all the time, it drives me nuts. Stop. Remove it. So there we have 4th of February to 9th of February. We didn't have any says on the third. Okay. Anyhow, it's just not giving us the dates that we want. We want to have the previous year. And if it is so that you don't have any sales on the weekend, maybe this will do it for you. But if you do, this will not work. So how do we do it? There are a lot of ways to do it. I am going to show you one. There's a million. This one is very easy to maintain and very easy to move the weeks up and down as you like. That's why it is the one that I'm going to show you. And it's also very easy to do. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to go to the calendar here, and then we are going to mark the days that are previous week. And for that, we're going to do it with a little bit of DAX. So one more thing I need to say, and this is important. Let me take it this away. As you can see, let's put week number back, remove the date and put week number. As you can see, this is sorting, this is a fiscal calendar and it's sorting from the 27 with week 27 all the way, right? So we don't want to start our weeks, does not start week one, it starts week 27. And to be able to do that, you know, you can have week numbers number, but if you do that, 
it will not allow you to sort. So you cannot custom sort numbers, which I think is a real pity too. It would be great if we could do that. But it doesn't allow you. If it says it's a number, it says, I know how to sort it. And I don't care what you say. So even if you put a sorting column, it will ignore it completely. So you have to convert the week number to text. And then you have to have, I have it sort. There is a sort. Maybe it's hidden. It is a sort fiscal week number here that I'm using to, to get it to sort from the 27th because this calendar is from July on, okay? Which is going to give us problems later because now the week number is a text and not a number and what we are going to, going to need is a number. I'm sure some of you already know where I am going to do. Okay, I'm going to do this in steps so you can follow along very, very easy. What are the things that we need? First of all, we need to know what is the current week for us and then remove one. Okay, we already have, we already know which week there are in the calendar. It is a week number. So according to the calendar, we're on week seven, which we are, and then we have seven, six, five. So this, this is already, no, we know which weeks we have on the dates that we have, but we want to have a column that says this is previous week. How do we do that? We go to new column. We go to to the no, last week's number. Something like that. <laughs> we go week number. And week number is a very easy function. You just put the date in there. And then it's one or two. One is my weeks starts on Sunday. Two is my weeks starts on Monday. So we write two because we are in Europe. And uh, no, 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 sorry. This is going to give us obviously the same as it did before. No, what we want to know is which week it is previous week. So instead of putting this, we're going to put today. So that will give us current week. You see, it says seven everywhere, which is exactly what we want. It says seven, seven, seven. These weeks is week seven, yes. But we want to have previous week, so we're going to do this minus one. And then it's going to say six, 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 six. Great, so now, if, listen to this, if week number, is six, our real week number is six, or is equal to this week, which is six, that's why we want to have six, six, six everywhere, then tag it to previous year. There is a problem though, and it is how many week six numbers do we have? We have one for each year, right? So we have one week six for 2019, one week six for 2018, and we need to tell them it is the week six of 2018, okay? So now we have all the bits and pieces to put this thing together. So this is how we will do. We go in there. If shift enter and, and now we have the first condition. If you remember is that the week that we have in week number, the column week is equal to the week to car today's week minus one because we want previous week. So if uh, calendar week name probably week number is faster is equal to week number. So if on the week column is the same as the number that it says here. And if you remember, we said, hey, that is not enough. We still need to know the year. So let's pick the year. If calendar year. Do, 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 where are you? Where are you? Calendar year is equal to. And then this is this year, which you do year. Oh, we have another function that I'm going to show. Cool. Year function. There you go. So if current year, which one is it? This year and today, okay? So that will give us current year. 
2019. And then um, that's it. So now we have the two conditions that we talk about. If, out. Oh, stop it. So if the weak number is equal to today's weak number minus one and the year is the same, then uh, let's close the and then write previous week. Otherwise, leave it blank. And then it says DAX comparison operations do not support comparing values of text with values of numbers. So it's telling you, you cannot tell me to compare current week number today, which we know is a number six, with calendar week number, which as I explained, it had to be text because I needed to sort it. So we need to convert this, that is text, to number. So how do you do that? There is a really good function that does that. This is very, very useful for these cases. Value, not values. Don't confuse it with that. It's a different thing. Values give you unique values. Value will convert a text to a number. So you know in Parkway that you do number to text and text to number, and I never remember the, the syntax of those. This is what value will do for you. And there we have our previous week. And the reason why this is so simple is you can go one week back, you can go two week back, you can go eight week back, you can move up and down easily. Okay, so it is very easy to maintain if you're not like super good in DAX. And then how do you finish this? You go in here, remove that one, you go to your new created previous week, and then you say, boom. <laughs> Everything broke probably. I don't know why. Why did, did it break? Oh, there was no Brazil data there. So, and here obviously we don't want to have week number. We want to have date because... There you go. So, we learn three functions. We learn value. We learn week number. We learn year. And how to do previous week dashboards quickly, hopefully. So this is all for today. I really hope that this was useful in many ways. So I've not only show you three functions, I probably help you, you know, understanding how this date relative filter works, why you can't sort numbers. I wish they would fix it so you could actually tell them that I want to sort a number another way. Why not? You probably want to do it in more times than that. I'm going to stop talking. You have to start your weekend. I have to start my weekend. Not yet. <laughs> I still have a half day left. But uh, take care. Have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you again on Monday. So until then, bye.